Hey everyone, it's me, Undead Viking, Lance Meister here. Uh, I just got done doing an Alaboom, which is the weekly live stream Wednesday night get together that I do online where we talk about life and board games and whatever uh, that comes to mind. We play a little uh, game of initials every single time. And uh, I don't know, we just hang out, a bunch of uh, board game cronies uh, and, and good friends that I have in the industry. Uh, but I just wanted to do this quick little video and maybe tell a couple of quick stories. I have been scratching my noodle with a few things here. But as you may or may not know it right now, um, this game, Last Light, is on GameFound right now. Um, it is a second edition reprint uh, and plus some new stuff for uh, returning backers. Um, this, this is my copy. I don't, I don't actually own a real copy of it yet. Yes, the, it, this is like, a, I think it's a City of Gears box that, uh, this is a prototype that I have that I've used to show off the game and play and whatever. That's like the only copy I own. Uh, I, I work for the company that makes this game and I don't even have my own copy, which is pretty standard. Um, you know, Last Light's a really good game. Uh, Roy Kennedy made a 4X space game that plays in an hour and it really does that. Uh, I mean, I love games like Eclipse and Proxima Centauri, uh, uh, the Space Empires, obviously Twilight Imperium. Those games I played, I really, really enjoy them, um, but they take a long time to play. And uh, this Last Light scratches that itch. It is, it is a very, um, it is a very frenetic game. It is a fast game. Um, it is a game with lots of strategy, um, a lot of chaos, and just a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, I played that game over a hundred times and I still really, really, really enjoy it. Admittedly, a lot of those hundred times were playtest sessions to like make sure like this specific technology wasn't too powerful or make sure this specific alien faction's ability wasn't too powerful or whatever. But every time I played it, I had a really, really good time. And that's really rare. It's extremely rare um, for me to find a game like that. Uh, since I've been doing the whole... Um, video youtube thing and then working as a publisher for now nearly a decade uh it's one of those things where for me to find a game that i work on and i work on and i work on and then when somebody says hey you want to sit down and play this um it's, it's really rare for me to want to it's not that the game isn't good or anything like that it's just like you know would you want to watch the same episode of the same tv show a hundred times and and it just it just doesn't work like that. I mean, you know, there's exceptions to the rule, and this is one of those exceptions. Uh, last night, I just played it. We play tested something um, for some of the expansion material or whatever, and we just played it, and I had a great time. Um, I had a come from behind win. I mean, obviously, I won, uh, so maybe I'm I'm talking about that. I really really liked it because of that. But I can tell you that like I I enjoy the game even when I get destroyed and blasted. I, I have a good time uh playing it regardless and i'm it's like it's one of the few games that like i've worked on as a publisher that i'm annoyed i don't own a copy of. uh you know it's like the gray fox stuff that i've worked on i i don't think i own i i i don't own any of those games honestly i mean maybe one or two but last night i don't own it um and and i'm annoyed <laughs> that i don't have a copy I'm annoyed that I don't have one to play. I mean, I, this one works, but I mean, obviously, it's it's like a it's it's a prototype copy that was around three years ago, so it's not the best. So maybe next time I go to a convention, I'll I'll sneak a copy off the off the the stack and 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 tuck it away so I can take that one home with me. Um, regardless, uh, if you have followed this channel for a long time, if you watch the album, if you do this, and you think Space Forex is something you'd be interested in, please check out the um. The, that's the best way to support me and this channel and myself and Gray Fox Games is to go there and to back the game. Um, if you back the if you back the game before, uh, you, you can pick up uh, the new Alien Faction pack, and plus when you do that, you will get um, the very small number of upgrades that uh, were changed between uh, the first edition and second edition. They're very very small. They don't really change much, uh, but you can find out more information about that over at gamefound.com. Uh, if you didn't get the game, 
uh, here's your chance. You can get the deluxe copies with all the cool little extra bits and bobs and what have you. If you picked up a retail copy of the game and you want to get an upgrade pack to give yourself like the cool 3D shifts and what have you, you can do that as well. Um, uh, and uh, also, if you missed out on any of the add-ons uh, the first time around, uh, whether they were the dice or the cool light-up star you can put in the middle of the board or the resin planets, things like that, those are all available uh, to be able to be picked up uh, on the uh, on, over at GameCon.com. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out. And, um, you know, uh, like I said, easiest, best way to support me, my channel, and also Gray Fox Games would be to do just that. Um, yeah. So I've got a couple ideas of some videos that I want to do um, that are going to be talking about working in the board game industry and also uh, talking about um, telling some stories and maybe telling some stories about some old jobs I used to have and just that, that I've been thinking about, like, because I've worked a ton of places. I've worked a ton of jobs. I've had people tell me what I'm telling about, like the stuff that I've done for uh, to pay the rent. I mean, it's nothing illegal, mind you. Uh, but the stuff that I've done, the stories that I have, people are like, you've you've had quite an interesting life. And I don't really think it's all that interesting. I think a lot of people have the same stuff. But um, as I've told a lot of people, I, I part of the reason why I, I, I write, if you follow me on like social media, I'll write big, long stories and what have you about my life and things that I've written. And I, it's, it's more just, in all honesty, yes, there's like, I like to write and I like to create and what have you. But um, I really like to... Uh, interact with people and see them react to what I do. But I also really um, like the idea that, um, you know, when I'm gone, like my great grandchildren and what have you will have an idea if they care to know uh, who I was and what I was and what I thought and what I did. I like the fact that that's going to exist uh, beyond me. And uh, if I can tell a few stories about my life and whatever. Um, yeah, there you go. So if you hung out this long, um, stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm going to be trying to put those together uh, at least one or two a week. Well, let's be fair, one a week. And then um, and we'll go from there. But please go check out Last Light. I'll put the link in the old description down below. Go check that out. Um, and uh, take it from me. The game's awesome. But also check out some of the other videos and things like that. We post things. Lots of people just raving about it uh, um, and, you know, talking about it. I believe it was um, Jamie, uh, Jamie um, from, oh, I can't think of his podcast now. Why can't I think of his podcast right now? Anyway, it was his game of the year last year. God dang it. Why can't I think of his name right now? I, I mean, I could do it. I can look it up, but I'm not, I'm not going to do. Just go ahead. Go check out the, follow the link, go check it out. And uh, like I guarantee you, uh, and if you want me to, hey, if you actually want to try to play the game, um, it is on Tabletop Simulator. And if you reach out to me, you can probably figure out how to get a hold of them. Pretty easy to do that. But if you want to reach out to me and you want me to teach you the game, I'd be happy to host a game for you. And we can, uh, I can show you how the game plays. And you can see if you can beat the old Undead Viking uh, at last light. Just uh, reach out. We'll make it happen. All right, um, where we are, whatever you're doing, where, whenever you watch this, uh, take care of yourself. And if you're my great grandchildren, I'm watching you. Oh, I am. All right, have a great one.